orthodontists can work wonders with rubber bands, little pieces of metal, and sometimes headgear to move teeth. But for certain adjustments, a revolutionary titanium device called a TAD helps the orthodontist apply force in just the right direction. This video explains the use of the TAD. A TAD is an acronym that stands for Temporary Anchorage Device. These are little metal pieces that, after their place, look similar to an earring stud. They are temporary miniature surgical screws that are placed through the gums and into the jawbone. This is a relatively minor procedure. Once placed, they become anchored in position and usually will not move until physically removed by the doctor. A TAD is used in a situation where a solid anchor is required for the orthodontist to achieve tooth movement. TADs can also be used for patients who are missing permanent teeth. The benefit of a TAD is based on the basic law of physics. We know that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the mouth, when we put a spring or rubber bands between the teeth, they both will tend to move. The ability for the teeth to move through bone over time is what allows us to move teeth with orthodontics. A TAD is placed so that the orthodontist can design a customized tooth-moving pressure system. Insertion of a TAD is usually a team effort involving both your orthodontist and an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Your orthodontist will refer you to a surgeon who will meet with you to evaluate your individual situation, discuss the procedure, perform certain diagnostic tests, and schedule the surgery. For surgery, it's very important that the mouth be clean we ask patients to brush and floss their teeth as usual. Also, it's best to go to surgery wearing loose and comfortable clothing. The placement of temporary anchorage devices is another excellent example of how orthodontists and oral and maxillofacial surgeons often work as a team to provide patients with the best possible treatment results. And as they told me like what was going to happen and how they were going to do it, I was much more comfortable. The surgery is done in the oral and maxillofacial surgery office using local anesthesia. The TAD is simply screwed into the proper position and the patient can resume their normal activities that day. Patients generally do very well after this surgery and any discomfort can be handled with an over-the-counter pain medication. Patients should know that a TAD and the gum tissue around it needs to be kept very clean. If it is not kept clean, the gums can get inflamed and an infection may develop. Infected and inflamed gum and bone tissue can weaken the TAD and it may need to be removed. A TAD may also come loose over time. Remember, it is a temporary implant that may lose its solid feel and need to be replaced. TADs contribute to predictable results. They allow an orthodontist to move teeth in directions that just appliances on teeth cannot accomplish. TADs can shorten treatment time and may be used in patients of any age and in many different areas of the mouth. I love it and I think it made my smile like a lot better so I mean it would have been kind of awkward to have one tooth on an angle so I think that it helped my smile a lot so it came in the right position. Finally, TADs may be used as part of an orthodontic treatment program which will prevent more costly and intrusive dental work. The patient may return for orthodontic brace activations and use of the TAD almost immediately. Some patients have their TAD in for only a portion of their treatment with as little as six months, while for others, they have them in for the duration of their orthodontic care. When TADs are required for longer treatment periods, their positions may need to be changed. When the treatment is complete, commonly TADs can be removed with no anesthesia or with a topical numbing cream. Questions? Ask your orthodontist or your oral and maxillofacial surgeon for more information.